Hello guys, welcome again to my YouTube channel and today we are we are going to make a build video of the Loki X3 Rec. So we have here the main part of this build is the Runcam split. Okay. And we are going to use an a race star board a star f3s it has four ESCs current sensor and flight controller okay so we are going to save a lot of weight with this and we have here the motors from my Loki X3 the standard version the Brother Hobby Tornado T1 1407 3600 kb and a standard FR Sky receiver X4R and yeah here we have the new frame okay new Loki X3 frame and let's just start with the build okay I'm going to mount the star F3S flight controller like this okay so I will need to remap the ESCs because it comes to mount it like this you know but I want to have the XT60 at one side and the USB at the other side because if you mount it like this it's very difficult to to connect the USB okay Okay, so we have now our motors connected to our ESCs. Later we have to check on BL Heli, on BL Heli Suite, if we have to change some motor directions, okay? But for now it's okay. So I've been trying to fit all the components and thinking about how to uh, mount everything and uh, I decided to change the other BTX for this one you know I had this BTX with this pigtail but I'm going to use this one instead because I'm going to I, I'm able to put the BTX 
more to the rear of the top plate so I can save some space on the middle where I can mount my room cam split and I will be able to open the the door of the of the SD card okay so also I decided to change this receiver for the XM plus okay and that's what the first thing that we are going to to do okay I'm going to fit the receiver under the underneath the flight controller that's why I decided to change to a smaller receiver So, okay, we have here the antennas, our receiver. Okay, and now we have to solder the cables of the for room cam split. It's uh, I'm powering it on this connector, so I have to put uh, 5 volts, okay? So now we have to solder the cables of our VTX.
see here everything fits perfectly if I move a bit here wire like that I can open my the room for the SD card of the room cam split and I can easily close it and secure okay so I'm going to put the screws So hello again guys, I finished the build and I also uh, did some flights and I tested it and it flies very well but I'm going to tell you some little things that I, that I did. I changed the antenna because this one is shorter and it's more protected than the pagoda that I have. Uh, I changed the way I'm going to mount the battery because on the first flight that I made I noticed that with this big battery, 850 milliamps, it's going to be a bit heavy. Okay, the drone itself, uh, as you can see here, is uh, 200, about 200 grams, the same weight as if you buy the Bind and Fly kit or the Ready to Fly kit from Helipad. Uh, if you are running a 600 milliamp, it's going to be okay, but with this battery, 850 milliamp, it's going to be a bit heavy in my opinion. So I mounted the battery on top and the flying characteristics are much better, okay? Uh, because if you have the battery the, on, on the bottom, it's like a bit, uh, I don't know, um, a bit like a piggy, okay? So with the battery on top, it's much better, it's more, it's, uh, more easy to control it and uh, more agile okay and yeah uh, I put also these uh, neoprene pads at the arms to protect the frame on the landings okay and I also use some o-rings the same that we use to soft mount our, uh, our um, fly controllers to soft mount the room cam split, okay. I use two at the uh, at this part, okay, and two inside. I'm using four O rings in in total, okay. And well, uh, after my first flight, the the impression was uh, m that it's very fast. Even it's a bit. Uh, uh, it weighs a bit too much for a three inch okay but if we consider that we can uh, wreck in HD it's perfectly fine okay so with the battery on top it flies really really well I recommend you to to do something with your cable or to to be able to mount your battery on top uh, yeah, I'm, I have plenty of room here to open the the, uh, the door for the for the SD card on the room cam split. Okay, and I'm really amazed with the quality of this uh, camera. Okay, not just the HD footage, also the the FPV image is very very uh, very nice you know uh, you have more details and a lot of a lot of um, quality and it's also good for a change of uh, light okay and I really like it so that's all for that's all for now okay I'm going to leave you some uh, footage uh, from the run cam split and I hope you you like it and I'm going to do more uh, videos soon 
this one is just for testing you know and I'm going to push this to the limit racing versus some 5 inch and let's see how it goes stay tuned because in my channel I'm going to put a lot of content content in the next few weeks I have to build the CEO X2 and also flight uh, videos of it and the Loki X3 and also I'm going to build a Loki X5 rec like this one but just in a 5 inch uh, version and I'm also planning to build a flight test explorer wing okay to use also with the uh, Runcam split and yeah it going, it's going to be very very funny okay so thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video bye